Getting up and active can be a real struggle for some of us, but we have a couple with us in the Harvey Norman Lounge today that we are sure are going to inspire you to get up and get exercising. Masters Games competitors Alison and Graham Leach, good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Firstly, tell me, uh, Alison, what are you competing in? I'm c competing in the freestyle events, um, 800, 400, 200, 100, and 50 metres. Wow, a lot of swimming. What about yes. you, Graham? I'm doing the 50 fly, the 100 fly, the 50 freestyle, 100 freestyle, 200 freestyle, and the ocean swim, which she hasn't mentioned. Oh, and you're doing the ocean <laughs> swim as well? I'm doing the ocean so swim. She's just, doing that too. Not just going up for one event, that thinking that you might give it a bit of a go. I mean, you're really fully into this. Um, <laughs> Alison, you're still competing at the age of 75. Yes. Have you always been this active? Um, Yes, we have really, um, right from when we learned to swim as children. So you've been swimming all your lives? More or less, When yes. did you two meet? Did you meet in the pool? <laughs> yes. <laughs> did you? <laughs> I was still a, a schoolgirl in long black stockings and a gym frock. And this big water polo player came from somewhere out north. I later learned it was Hamilton. <laughs> He was one of the big boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it obviously, he obviously impressed you and it worked out quite well. Yeah. <laughs> now, Graham, how many knees have you had? <laughs> Someone has asked me to ask you this. How many knees have you been through? I've had uh, six knee replacements. Oh. Gosh. What, so what's your motivation? What keeps you active? I just like feeling better. And time just goes so quickly. Um, I've also got a great motivator here. I mean, <laughs> It's a lot easier if you both do the same things. Mm. And I've found she's the one that's sort of prodding behind the scenes. I could be very lazy if I wanted to be. Because the thing about swimming is we always think of it as a sport where you have to get up very early in the morning to do your training. Is that what you two are doing? I think we've just kept doing what we've always done. And, and that's what it has been. So how often do you train per week? Well... Three swims and usually a gym session. Gosh, that is so <laughs> impressive. Graham, you're 80 now. Um, what's the hardest thing for you about keeping active as, you, as you're getting older, apart from all your knees that you're going through? <laughs> That's the only thing. They weigh me down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no problem. It, it, it's just you feel so much better. And these events give you a reason to try just that little bit harder instead of just talking to people mm. and that's what we do a bit of too. <laughs> well the thing is too it's such great motivation to keep fit but then having this goal of g going and competing mm. with people from all around all around the world it must be quite exciting. Yeah, well it is. It is, yes. Very We're nervous already. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be absolutely fine. What's your advice for people perhaps who can't find that motivation to exercise? Get another wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's probably not... Uh... Or, alternatively, <laughs> Alison, what do you think? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> as one ages, all sorts of odd, unexpected things happen. Mm. And anything that we've either of us have ever had, we've recovered from so quickly and so well that we just put it down to swimming and keeping going and... Um, Yes, it's just been so good. Keeping fit, because it's not only good for your physical self, it's very good for your, your mental mm. state of mind as well, isn't oh, it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Graham, do you find that you are still learning new tricks now uh, in the pool, or are you learning new techniques? Only ways of doing it easier. <laughs> yes, and that's clever. That's, see, that's the clever thing, doing it the easiest way you can. Uh, do you find the rest of your family are active because you've always been active all of your lives? The answer to that is not really, no. Our <laughs> children never took up... Uh, swimming, they did a, a bit, and they yes. both played water polo at um, well representative level. And um, their son played for New Zealand as a young kid. But Gosh. when he got away from our influence, Clutches. I guess he <laughs> took it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he'll get back into it. I guarantee it. Later on in life, he'll realise what mum and dad have actually given him, yeah. and he'll get stuck back into it. I think they think we're slightly mad. Well, yes. I think, well, all of these races that you're doing, I must admit, I think you're slightly mad, but I'm so, I really admire you, and I know everybody here is admiring of you too. Well, best of luck for the ocean swimming that you've still got ahead of you, and I know it's going to be great. Thank you so much for coming in. I think you need a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alison and Graham, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure.